What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm showing you the ultimate public land legal gear hanger system. I hunt a lot of public land and something I would always encounter is how to hang my gear in the tree when I can't screw in items to the tree. So a gear hook like this is great. I mean, you can hang all your stuff, your binos, your grunt call, your rattle bag, everything you can hang off of this, even your weapon. Uh, but if you can't screw it into the tree, it doesn't help you very much. What most guys are using is stuff like this. So this is a strap uh, with these accessory hooks on it like so. And you got to clip it together and then tighten it down around the tree. It works. I used it for a couple of seasons, but it's fidgety. It clanks together. It makes noise. It's just, it's not a very elegant option. What I came up with is I think the best option there is. I use two pieces of webbing sewn together. This is one inch nylon webbing from a ratchet strap, uh, from two ratchet straps that I cut and I just sewed loops all along the length of it. The way it works is you wrap one end around the tree, pull the loose end through your very last loop or the tag end through your very last loop just put it at the height you want and then tighten it down. That's it. After I've looped it to the tree, I use what's called the clipter. Okay, so this is a carabiner with a clip that hangs off the end that swivels. Packs up nice and tight, just like that. And it's great. I have these other clips hanging off of it, but they don't come with it. That's just how I pack it. Uh, it's no noise. I've taped everything so it can't make any noise. And this is what I hang my bow or my rifle from. This goes to the very last notch. After I pass it through itself, I hook that just like that. And what that does is keeps the free end from pulling back through. It's impossible. And with practice, you get it to where it's really tight. But so after it's hooked up, it sits on the tree just like this. You hang your, you hang your rifle or your bow from this hook. And then I carry these S hooks that I have taken one side of the clip off of. I don't like that. And I just use this to hook around wherever else I might need gear. You can take as few of these or as many as you like uh, and whatever works for you. One of the beauties of this system is you can move it around the tree to position your gear wherever makes the most sense. Like I said, I always hang my bow from here, generally right by the string and it hangs there. You can do the same with the rifle. It'll hang just right there. Weight of your bow is what keeps the strap on there. And then if you take your bow to get a shot, the size of the carabiner won't allow it to come back through the hole. So it's completely safe. Nothing can fall. After my bow's hung, I'll usually hang my rattle bag right there. Maybe my grunt tube hangs from a stick. It's hot in Georgia in the early season, like it normally is. Sometimes I'll just clip my thermocell right there to another one and I'll let that go. Finally, I have my rangefinder on a retractable leash and that I just clip on somewhere as well. I have everything hanging right in front of me. I can move it if I want it to the left or to the right. I just adjust where I clip. It's legal in public land. It's legal everywhere. It takes 15 seconds to install. It's ultra lightweight. It's quiet. There's really no downsides. So hopefully this will help you out. If you have a half an hour, cut a couple pieces of webbing, stitch them together real quick, and you've got yourself the ultimate gear hanger. Thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, you will check out some of my other videos. If this made sense to you, uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, maybe subscribe to the channel. I certainly appreciate it. You guys get outdoors.